You are watching the Raj Smriti show and this is a special series on International Women's Day. Today we have with us Pro Chancellor Shri Ram Swarup Memorial University Mrs Pooja Agarwal. Welcome to the show ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's lovely having you and you know universities like this are the real change makers. They are doing a lot because it's all about youth. They are going to lead the future. So with educationists like you we have high hopes and high expectations so to begin with tell us about the journey of shri ram swarup what made you lay the foundation of this uh, prestigious university all right thank you so much folk tales for having me in your show it's a matter of great pride and honor for me uh, for being part of the series um the journey of ram swarup probably started long back i think 25 years back yeah. um me and my husband pankaj we mm-hmm. graduated from iit kanpur and uh, that was the time i mean we were very clear about the fact that we would not go out after iit per se as mm-hmm. like most of the iitians prefer doing they so go abroad to they pursue go abroad, their dreams they yeah. they go abroad to settle i had i was the topper of the department and gold gold medalist also wow. so um, i had three scholarships in my hand but uh, leaving our own country and not doing anything some some way that was very deep rooted mm-hmm. in the two of us so we thought of uh, coming up uh, with something which we had at the moment and all that we had was one iit degree mm-hmm. no money nothing which no support which is very prestigious uh-huh, and of course. most sought after degree yes. in india i would yes. say yes so we had devoted i mean uh, quite an amount of our uh, time energy and effort into acquiring that degree and yes. position so we thought might as well play on our strengths mm-hmm. and uh, the best uh, way to play on your strength of iit degree is to get into education mm-hmm. that inspired us and uh, the government policies also were in favor at that time so uh, we thought of starting with a college mm-hmm. which is 99 19 so we Long are just celebrating back. our uh, silver jubilee year wow. this year yes remarkable So we thought let's start with this and uh, we got affiliation from Agra University uh, for BBA and BCA 60 seats each mm-hmm. but the biggest challenge was to get students i mean from where do you get the students okay right. you got the affiliations you got the paperwork done and everything so those we call them angel 21 of okay the uh, first batch the first batch of ram mm-hmm. saru we call them angel 21 and wow. 21 in any case is quite a auspicious as a number yeah. but these eight, uh, 21 were mostly from friends and family who were gone cases mm-hmm. and uh, the family thought ki theek hai 12th ke baad to ye padhenge nahi mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and uh, we thought ki theek hai aap humko de do hum kuch bana ke inko nikal denge right. so uh, that was uh, kind of our start and believe me for this we had three nri students in the 21 wow. yeah mm-hmm. so uh, i asked them ki aapko kahan se yahan matlab mm-hmm. the very first college and they said holding they ki we thought to our atians are running it let's so, do it so let's do it so that was um, uh, the kind of start we had with these 21 students we rented a place in aliganj purania mm-hmm. and uh, we just started wow without thinking much we didn't have much resources we didn't have money so all that we had in the name of resources was uh, three faculty uh, who we you can't even think of the pay structure that mm-hmm. we could uh, you know kind of manage so we had three faculty members out of the three two are still working with us in the college wow. which in itself talks about our uh, association which we always rate as lifetime association and how employee friendly this university uh, is yes and we take a lot of pride in introducing them and we have given them the uh, position of founder members of wow. uh, the lovely, institution lovely. and the third one got married and she went away okay so that is where we started three and pankaj and me both of us were teaching because we wanted to save on money of two faculty mm-hmm. i was teaching certain courses he was, he teaching, was teaching some courses so two years we ran bba and bca with 21 students and um, the second year we got 84 mm-hmm. so it just multiplied and then we started with the engineering uh, college we shifted to the fezabad road campus again the start was very very small we only used to construct uh, things that we needed like matlab mm-hmm. char class chahiye to char hi class banani hai right. no dead uh, asset mm-hmm. that we created and we were very clear that we will not increase the number of seats till the time we do something big mm. so i think that was very important and crucial decision for us because most of the people get into number game and yeah. they increase the number of students mm. so they get probably lost in delivering right. quality Mm-hmm. so that was our uh, kind of uh, approach and in the very first year of our engineering we produced the topper of the state 
Oh wow. Which was I feel the turning point for us. Mm. And it just gave us a exponential rise because we were all over newspapers. Mm. Now it was not just a matter of luck that it, it was happened. hard work put in by all of you. Yes. Mm. So imagine a student who entered our college at the rank of 17 18000 mm. became the topper of state number 1 out of lakhs of students from sure. 750 colleges. So we did something magical with that kid. Very true. And I feel all that we did was copying processes from IIT Kanpur. Mm-hmm. We knew what we had gone through four yes, years of yes, education. Yes. You had lived that. We had system. lived that. Yes. So we believed in creating a similar system, mm-hmm. if not the same, but a similar system here. Lot of resistance was there. Mm-hmm. People were not aware that अरे ऐसा भी होता है. You know, surprise quiz भी होती है. Right. अभी पढ़ाया और तुरंत आपने quiz दे दिया उसके ऊपर. Sure. What is quiz? Quizzing was usually vocal quizzing, and mm-hmm. so lot of terminology change happened, process change happened, and I think in the whole game, this was a very big um, you know boost for us when we produced the topper of our beat. Wow! And then it became a practice. वो शेर के मुंह खून लग जाता है. I know, and then you were like every year we every have to year, yes. give the toppers, and somewhere in the process you also broke the myth because. most of the colleges or schools that we talk about it's about taking the best mm-hmm. training them and nurturing them yeah. you began with those 21s who probably had no intention of studying and had uh, no college admissions going on not and, at all and not you decided all. to you know train them nurture them and from there giving the best so i love such putting this smriti mm. uh, in my very first batch the kind of students we had ki mam agarbatti to ghumana hai hmm. ganesh ji ke samne padh ke kya karenge karenge sahi baat and my eureka moment came when i was teaching maths to them hmm. and when i said ki okay coming down theek hai ye nahi aata wo nahi aata and then when i asked them okay tell me what is 4 minus 9 hmm. so they said ki char mein se 9 to ja hi nahi sakta <laughs> you know mm-hmm. so from number line i had to give them a kick start yeah, yeah. Uh, then i realized ki this is the kind of students i am dealing with yeah. but the whole idea of ram swarup has been value addition mm-hmm. as you said it has never i mean you give me cream and i produce another better cream no big deal no huh? big deal we believe in adding value to what we get at the start level and how mm-hmm. we end up their process true that true. is that has been a usp and i think you know uh, iit is most sought after but not everyone can enter iit even though you might be brilliant you know just for 0.1% you might not get admission there but having two people who have lived that uh, system and implementing all the best practices from there in a university wherein you can walk in and take admissions and you know become as i always say that you know going to the best university is not important you need to go to an university wherein you have you they put in effort to make you the best absolutely so absolutely. that is something i think which is very remarkable yes. yes and from there i mean we started engineering with our first batch and then it's mm-hmm. all by the name ram swarup because it is uh, my husband's grandfather's name oh lovely. so he was very passionate about uh, padhai mm-hmm. and uh, we just wanted to take the family name uh, further uh, yeah so that's the whole reason and that's and it's a lovely said. name i think right now it's all about ram we are doing yes, ram yes. bhajan all the time and, and you uh, you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised to know that uh, the mascot and the symbol of our university is mm-hmm. a gilehri Ah, We call it Gillu. Gillu. तो ये इसके लिए भी हमने competition किया था और उसके लिए हमने कहा कि क्या mascot uh, you must have seen Gillu yes, when you would have there. entered a big gallery yes, yes, holding yes. a degree and all mm-hmm. that. So Ram ji की कहानी के साथ वो जो gallery की कहानी जुड़ी हुई है. Beautiful. तो it's all correlated. Correlated and yeah. interrelated. Lovely. Yes. So you have two campuses running. Yes. I think more than. 14000 yes. uh, students in place yes. 20 odd departments and faculties and all of it so mm-hmm. you might be seeing you know 25 years back the situation of women and now and i feel uh, vis-a-vis women empowerment men are also responsible we cannot mm-hmm. do male bashing mm-hmm. and say that this is women empowerment mm-hmm. we have to work hand in hand and do things together if we want really the society to change yeah. so what is your take on women empowerment See, I absolutely agree with you on that point. That male bashing or bashing of it—I mean, I don't get into that kind mm-hmm. of negative talk. I feel both are equally important. Equally, yes. I mean, male also cannot rise if the women are not there to take care of family and the mm-hmm. household. True, they can't function in the office if they are not peacefully settled here. You know that whatever brings in money is because of somebody taking care of the household. Very true. Likewise, 
men are also very important for women uh, to move ahead and mm-hmm. do a multitasking kind of a thing for a family and job so i feel hand in hand both and with time i have seen a lot of change happening in mindset of people mm-hmm. where they actually have started valuing education of women and promoting them not just for kind of emotional and societal upliftment mm-hmm. but also for financial reasons there are two true. working hands yeah. and they'll be able to afford better education and better prospects Everything for the better family. for the family true true so true. all in all it's a very uh, win win kind of a situation where both are working mm-hmm. and both are sharing household responsibilities likewise Lovely. so i don't see many boundaries there i feel it's a collective responsibility mm-hmm. of taking the society ahead ahead very true you've also broken one of the myths or one of the assumptions that you know husband and wife should not work together in the same office or be in the same profession or involved in the business because that affects their married life or whatsoever so it's been 25 years of ram swarup and i'm sure more years uh, to your marriage and together you have built this beautiful uh, university how difficult or how easy it is to work with your husband and what are the tips you would like to give to people who are thinking of you know working together so uh, i feel that you should always take the other person as a complementary situation you know 1 plus 1 should make 11 yeah so um, that is the kind of equation that we have shared and from day one we were very clear about our strengths and weaknesses mm-hmm. for example i am a micromanager okay i love doing micromanagement i love mm-hmm. doing different different things at the same time and uh, pankaj is uh, more of a, a kind of a macro manager mm-hmm. he looks at the vision part he he is more ठीक है growth he, the future he defines mm-hmm. the goal and he then says ki you take it forward mm-hmm. so we had a very clear division of work from the very beginning okay. i don't know from where all that came mm-hmm. you know that kind of understanding it doesn't uh, it is not taught at iit you guys really. were chosen to do this we kind were chosen of work ones. Huh. i always say we, we are the chosen mm-hmm. ones it's not our credit that we are doing this we are the chosen ones and mm-hmm. we are blessed for that and we can't thank enough for this kind of opportunity that we have in life so we had this division of work we knew our strengths and uh, uh, we played on our strengths mm-hmm. so as a couple if you want to get into some venture i feel you should always play on your strength that not just gives a different boost to the entire game it also gives a high level of comfort mm. to your working and productivity so if i am forced to do something which i am not so comfortable at i'll not do good at it right might as well okay let me let me sit in my cozy office mm-hmm. and do my little paperwork and i am a very hard working and sincere kind of a person mm-hmm. he is very flamboyant and mm-hmm. extrovert i'm introvert so we know each other very right, well right right we have played on that and i think that has really really helped yes. us in taking everything forward mm-hmm. so coming to the present scenario what's the way forward for srmu uh, srmu has uh, a kind of made a mark which i believe Uh, we have always moved with the right intention of giving best quality education as we can you know you should everybody should understand the fact the kind of uh, input that we have from mm-hmm. uh, you know the student fraternity right and where we are taking them and where what we try to make them mm-hmm. we don't uh, brag of the fact ki hum iit bana denge ya hum ye you can't do that and zarurat bhi nahi hai zarurat bhi nahi hai you need mm-hmm. to deal with a very एवरेज काइंड ऑफ अ स्टूडेंट एंड उसमें आप क्या वैल्यू एडिशन करते हो उसको आप कैसे कॉन्फिडेंस से इंस्टिल करते हो उसके बाद लाइफ इज नॉट अबाउट डेरिवेशन एंड बुक्स एंड इक्वेजन लाइफ इज अबाउट योर कॉन्फिडेंस एंड यू जस्ट एंटरप्राइजिंग आपको होना चाहिए दैट्स वॉट वी ट्राई टू डू विद आर स्टूडेंट सो राम स्वरूप में दिस इज वॉट वी हैव बीन फॉलोइंग path ahead is that our daughter she just graduated from berkeley oh okay so wow, lovely university to you know yes, study so she has done her business studies from haas business school berkeley mm-hmm. uh, she has joined us okay so we have kind of second generation entrepreneurship coming up into the system lovely which is uh, giving us high hopes and the entire team is very excited about this mm-hmm. new infuse of uh, fresh blood into the system and she is bringing in a lot, lot of uh, and the global perspective as well lot of things that yes. us universities have we still still need to buck up because yes. as per rankings are concerned indian universities maybe iit iim still don't feature in the mm. top 100 if mm. it has changed recently i'm not aware mm. but when i used to study in us mm. and you would look at so getting even though getting admission in iit and iim is more difficult more than difficult. getting a, uh, admission abroad but still we don't feature anywhere in the top 100 in the ranking 
things. There's yes, so yes, I completely agree on that. My second daughter is studying at Brown University. Oh wow! So she is pursuing her uh, mm-hmm. engineering there. Acceptance at Brown is five six percent. Yeah. And acceptance at IIT is point one percent. One percent. Point one percent, which is very very challenging. Mm-hmm. But still, we don't feature in the top. You know, as you yeah, said, yeah. it's okay. Mm-hmm. We are dealing with multi mammoth population yeah. and a very different kind of population. There, they have a homogeneous kind of population yes. which thinks, acts, and yes. has been served into the same platter. Yes. You know, if there is a house, everyone has a AC, everyone has a washing machine, everyone has that. But still, here you, you have, have to wash utensils yeah, and wash yeah, your own clothes. Yeah, yeah, everything. But you know, here they don't even have those basic things. Yeah. The standard of living we can't even yes. compare. Yeah, yeah. There, everyone goes. to a similar standard of school yes. even if it's a government school it's still you know at par with the standards yes and uh, i just went to us um, to drop my daughter hmm. and hamare mostly batchmates wahan pe sathe the so uh, we were kind of uh, thinking ki theek hai life is more of an equalizer yeah we see jo topper tha aur jo bilkul average tha hmm. wo sab aaj ek hi lifestyle mein us mein reh rahe hain right true you see that kind of a balancing act happening there hmm. ki nothing changes i mean no matter you had good grades at iit yeah. no matter if you failed in one of the subjects but aap wahi package hmm. draw kar rahe ho waise se ghar mein reh rahe ho weekend pe aap celebrate kar rahe ho aur khana bana rahe ho aur pure hafte aap bartan dho rahe ho you know that so True. i feel though uh, my batchmates who have stayed in india hmm. and made that crucial decision are faring much, much better, better much better sure. so i urge all the listeners mm, i agree to you that you know stay in your own country we have the and the best your, uh-huh. ceos uh, in all the leading organizations from india and the good that they are doing is to that country than to us had they stayed back the face of india would have been completely uh, different and when i was at penn state and harvard uh, university i did a summer school at harvard and penn state so i realized you know universities like penn state they prepare you to be the best they yeah. make you the best they bring out the best in you but harvard university only the best can enter mm. so that's the uh, you know difference between yes. i would say the iit and the srmu that you are trying to bring out the best best in everybody, in everybody. and if you are the best then you can land up to any iits any any so, lovely you also indulge in lot of uh, csr activities to mm-hmm. so tell us about that okay um so uh, it's not just doing something on your own yeah. as such but it's about creating that feeling of giving back to society as a system mm-hmm. so um, as a kid also i mean i was very very passionate about uh, underprivileged kids for mm-hmm. some reason i don't know as a kid i used to teach the kids of my uh, you know this and other and neighborhood like, and mm-hmm. us tarah se mai so it has been there and again i feel it's a divine uh, blessing that intervention also y- yes it's a divine intervention so once we got into work we thought that we can actually do something for them we have resources so it happened one day that we were i mean taking around of the campus and wahan pe kuch bachcho ko dekha humne ki dhool mitti mein khel rahe the mm-hmm. and wo wahi ke construction worker ke bachche the right to maine hi unko matlab panch bachcho ko bula ke maine kaha tum khelo mat yahan pe ek ghanta mere sath chalo and then uh, unse interact kiya and they were quite keen on learning mm. from there i think the whole foundation of apni patshala was lovely kind of, yeah so we started there fir 15 se 20 bacche hue 20 se char branches hui uski mm-hmm. apni Achha, patshala ki okay. yes in the uh, both the campuses uh, or how the you campuses and one we had in barabanki and okay. one in the city acha very nice so that is how we grew and it's a kind of a yeah, it's quite um, Yeah, infectious hmm. and it's fulfilling as well it's very You've... fulfilling for us but it's infectious for the other party right ki wo dusre ko dekhte hain us uska bachcha to padh raha hai hmm. mera bachcha kuch nahi kar raha hai they used to send hmm. so wahan se apni patshala shuru hui aur apni patshala mein hum bachcho ko padhate hain pura unka class 4 tak ki padhai hoti hai from hmm. university and we take care of all their needs उनको बस से बुलाना village se okay. unka pehle mid day meal dete the but hmm. ab hum mid day meal nahi dete hain कुछ गवर्नमेंट कंपल्शन है लेकिन वॉट वी डू कि यहाँ पे इन बोथ द कैंपस इज वॉट वी टेल रेम कि आप अपना एक दिन बच्चों के साथ सेलिब्रेट करो ओके सो जिसका जो बर्थडे है कुछ है तो दे गो टू दू आर स्कूल इन अपनी पाठशाला का कैंपस में यहीं पर बना हुआ है एंड वहाँ पे वो दिन भर उनको कुछ कुछ पढ़ाते हैं उनका एक शेड्यूल बना हुआ है एनुअल कैलेंडर रहता है सपोज एनुअल कैलेंडर में एडिशन है आज पढ़ाना तो वो जाएंगे उनको एडिशन पढ़ाएंगे फिर उनको कुछ पैक्ड फूड बांटेंगे उनके साथ गेम्स खेलेंगे गाने गाएंगे अंताक्षरी खेलेंगे दिखाऊंगा 
so this is the kind of churning that we are trying to bring in and involving the society and involving well. everybody mm-hmm. students ke liye compulsory hai they get marks also on that lovely lovely ke unko ek din apni paathshala mein apna daan dena hai to samay ka hame daan chahiye aapse aur kuch nahi so we have been doing this for a good uh, how many 22 years now mm-hmm. and uh, it is very fulfilling and i don't know from where people keep coming they keep making donations lovely abhi kabhi jacket aa jati hai sare bachcho ke liye kabhi chappal aa jati hai ab march aaya hai to now we have floated the concept of uh, giving water bottles lunch tiffins box, lunch, yeah. and uh, bags ki mm-hmm. aapka jo khali chhota hai wo aap to school wali cheez hai so we have many such activities happening lovely. we do a lot of skill development for them Okay. तो उनकी कुछ कुछ वर्कशॉप्स चलती हैं उनकी मदर्स के लिए वर्कशॉप्स हम अलग चलाते हैं hmm. उनकी मदर्स को एजुकेट करते हैं नाइट स्कूल चलाते हैं वी डू सच लवली आई स्टडीड इन अ कॉन्वेंट इन पटना सो देर वी हैड दिस यू नो आफ्टर थ्री ओ क्लॉक ऑल दीज चिल्ड्रेन वुड कम एंड दे वुड स्टडी इन द सेम कैंपस वैन आई वॉज इन कॉलेज अगेन अ मिशनरी सो वी हैड दिस इंटर कॉलेज वुमेन एसोसिएशन वेर एन एज यू सेट एवरी स्टूडेंट हैज टू वॉल्टियर सो इन योर विसिनिटी वन हाउस वुड बी मेड एज अ सेंटर एंड फोर टू सिक्स क्लासेज वुड रन दीज किड्स वुड कम एंड यू हैव टू वॉल्टियर योर टाइम टू गेट यू नो Uh, the ah. pass marks for your degree only yeah. then your degree would be yeah. valid so very few i mean i'm second time i'm hearing like i have uh, seen that and now yeah. i'm hearing it from you that you have those <laughs> best practices right here and if all the schools and all mm. the colleges start doing it yes. you know teach india thing would be achieved everyone yes. would be educated like 100% literacy is not such a difficult not, task not at all. given the infrastructure we yes. already have so lovely that so you are doing so we have already this framework of human values as a course okay. given by uptu mm-hmm. aktu and ugc also says that we have to teach human values and ethics right, to the next right. generation so i feel the best way is experiential learning Mm. when they go to such kids and when they teach them then when they they should have patience right they should have control over uh, anger. anger they should know how to interact with kids which who are very vulnerable mm. naughty and very pure so this is one way of teaching them teaching human them values the second uh, assignment that we give them is identify a needy in your vicinity hmm. so needy is again a definition which an individual has to define okay. for me a needy can be an orphan mm-hmm. can be an old age person a sick person mm-hmm. an underprivileged kid needy can be anybody or anyone who wants an admission and has no money no you money know? so mm-hmm. you identify a needy you are given 3 month time of a semester mm-hmm. you what change you are bringing about in that needy's life mm-hmm. is what you have to document and present a report by the end of the semester on which will be marked wow. for the subject of human values very true and so we don't believe in needed. lecturing much we very believe true. in making them experience mm-hmm. that and actually implementing it in their system mm-hmm. so that is how and not uh, i mean i wouldn't put it as a csr initiative mm-hmm. but one initiative that we have since 2001 is very unique it is and also pertaining to your uh, mm-hmm. uh, the whole theme of women empowerment yeah. is pratibha okay so pratibha is our women club anybody and everybody who is a female in the system be it a fourth class employee or a mali or anybody or the hod or director mm-hmm. and including me we all belong to this club called pratibha okay and we all uh, have a lot of activities around the year which includes lot of informative uh, lecturing mm-hmm. then lot of fun activities where we all sit together dance play games team building bonding it's not yeah, yeah. so it's not a kitty thing yeah. and the whole idea came from the fact from my own realization that i don't socialize much, much don't right. get time to socialize mm. my whole energy goes into the you know university process. part yeah so why not create this group as a social group very true and why not bond mm-hmm. and to bond you need to let loose yes and you know kind of leave your inhibitions aside for that it is very important that i am sitting here and i am eating the same food in the same thing as my helper very is true. doing so that kind of flat hierarchy is what we have believed in we practice that and we have lot of games and competitions and picnics and movie shows so this pratibha club is a very strong community I won't say cult, but mm-hmm. a community that we which have, which is much needed because you know the dignity of labor has to begin. Mm. You've been abroad, you've worked there, studied there. You know, you've seen how even a plumber would come in a car, yeah. and you have to give him 
the water and make him sit in the drawing room. Yes. There's no discrimination. Yes. How many doctors and engineers and IS mm. officers we need? Mm. We need to give our gardener, our, yes. you know, the cleaners. Without yeah. them, we are nothing. If yes. the house is not clean, we cannot work Absolutely. efficiently. So they also need that kind of... Uh, so we don't call them chaprasi. Yeah. Right? You, right? We call them helpers. Uh, helpers. Yes, a higher. Exactly, exactly. So we don't believe in even calling out names here. Mm -hmm. We believe in having culture setting which has to be like under... You know, you, you have to read between lines to understand. Yeah, you got to respect practice. them as per their age. You, yeah. If the person is a helper, you ca can't call them tum and you know, don't yes. disrespect them. So yes. th those kind of things have to happen. And yeah. sitting in this university with 14,000 students, I'm sure you are doing a remarkable change. And these students, when they go out into leadership positions, they will do all the... Uh, required changes. I love the concept of your Patshala. It's so uh, poignant. Yesterday I was in a campus and I met this six-year-old girl, Vaishnavi. She was uh, moving around with a broom. So mm -hmm. I was just talking to her that you don't go to school. She said, no. Uh, where are your parents? So she said that my parents uh, work here. They are helpers. And she was just looking for a puppy and all mm -hmm. of it. So it was like she is in an educational institution. Yes. There is no child labor happening. But then you know nobody has even bothered to think that you know, she should go to. And I was there for a women's mm -hmm. award. I am like what point this award holds if a child, a six year old Absolutely. child is devoid of the basic uh, human rights. So even in Parchala there was once an incident where these girls were kind of uh, ill-treated by the boys there only mm -hmm. and some of the boys from the canteen. Yeah. So because of Patshala, the kind of strength they, they got, they came to me mm. and they told me the So all that I realized that they can do so much so that they have a platform where they can say what happened with them. And they know that you are approachable, you and listen they, to them. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So they came to me and then I called the boys. And it's the canteen soon Larko Kobulvaya mm -hmm. Jinone Parishan kiya tha unko. Parishan be to the level that it was kind of a sexual abuse. Yeah. So many un Larkyo ko phir, I said, let me not be the judge. Mm -hmm. You decide what should be done to them. Unhone ka main marna chahiye inko. Mm -hmm. Mere saamne sab khade hai, ladkiyan khadi hai, ladke khadi hai. Main ka maro. Mm -hmm. I gave them that liberty ki inko maro aaj tum. And then they were beaten black and blue. Mm -hmm. Because then I realized the kind of impact it had. On other people who will on never everybody dream to outside mm. who knew and we, we talked about it. Yeah. Then the kind of confidence this girl had. Galat karoge to saza milegi. Milegi. Aur us ladke ko we threw them out of the system. Canteen walo ko nikal diya. Paatshala ke jo ladke te unko nikal diya. Che mahine tak wo log karte rahe ke le lije. Then I gave them another chance. And we brought them back to the That system. is also important. You know, That's also very important. You, Otherwise, they become eliminate. Rules. Exactly. They become a very, very tough element of society. Mm. And one reason wherein we have not been able to control abuse mm. in our country is because these kind of punishments are not happening. Yeah. You know, if these kind of punishment happen then and there, yes. you know, a message goes right away that you cannot, like you, you buy and all, miss. your yeah. hands are chopped off if you are, uh, you know, into smuggling or cheating or any kind of thing. So nobody even dares, you yeah. know. So that kind of system, I'm so happy to hear yeah. all this. But I have hundreds of such stories. <laughs> I mean, we, can keep we can do a book on that, you know, your experiences as yeah. case studies and that yeah. goes to everyone for yes. a So chalte chalte, let's mm. have your uh, final message to everyone out there so that we don't need to celebrate women empowerment, you know. Mm. It's going on since ages, but we want to reach a time wherein there is no need for such day. Women get celebrated on a daily basis. So mm. what men and women should do together or boys mm. or girls should do together to achieve a holistic society wherein we are all equal and we all live a happy, healthy life. See, I feel it all starts from the very beginning that as a kid, when mm. girls and boys, they are groomed in the family, their upbringing is what will make the future of society. Right. I feel that should start there. I mean, we as girls are taught about 100,000 rules. Mm -hmm. This is how you have to behave, sit, eat, dress, you know, those things. And even dream. You can't dream everything. You Absolutely. Know? So mm -hmm. that kind of uh, education needs to be given to boys because they are the ones who are going to respect their counterparts, mm -hmm. their mothers and their wives and sisters when they grow up. So I feel that that part of education is kind of completely ignored at the moment. Some change is happening, which is good. I feel the new generation is more awakened. Yeah, they are. And uh, they uh, they actually are moving towards a positive path. Mm. But we as the previous generation have a lot of responsibility in educating them, firstly. Secondly, I feel that girls, if you just talk about, they should be given power of pen 
थॉट्स एंड द स्ट्रेंथ फ्रॉम विद इन सो दैट दे कैन मेक देयर ओन डिसीजन द मोमेंट यू मेक डिसीजन फॉर द फीमेल फॉर गर्ल चाइल्ड इफ द गर्ल ग्रोज अप the women everybody in the family is making the decision yeah. and the girl is not asked mm-hmm. so that puts in a lot of uh, pressure on the girl ki theek hai i am not capable mm. other person is taking all that is happening true which i feel from the very beginning as a kid you should let boy and the girl take their own, own decisions. decisions and even if they are wrong it's fine let them make let mistakes them and learn let them make mistakes let them learn and let them understand the fact that failure is a part of life very true Winning is not always life. Hmm. Failure is a part of life. And if you learn how to fail, you learn how to succeed. Absolutely, you will get up and you will fight again. Yes. Which is the kind of learning that we need to have. So this comparison, जो कि बड़े ओके होता है ना कि that bashing, ah. it will end. I yeah. feel it all starts from the foundation. foundation. So we need to deal with the foundation and we need to stop these comparisons. Realize the fact that we as females are blessed. very true i if if ever i have <laughs> to draw a comparison i would say that we are more blessed by god mm. we with the kind of emotional quotient that we have yes. multitasking abilities that we have and the kind of uh, uh, every way i mean i feel we are much more evolved if the comparison has to be drawn mm-hmm. but i don't believe in making comparisons yeah. we have our own places we both are different and you know we just need equal opportunities we need to respect both. we can't be you know It's like selecting yeah. between Radha chahiye ya Krishna chahiye. Krishna chahiye. Dono hi chahiye. Dono hi chahiye. Very true. What yeah. a lovely message to end on. Thank you so much Thank you for so talking much. to us. It was lovely and I'm sure the audience would gather a lot of good points to implement in their day-to-day lives and we'll see a better society very soon. Thank you so much. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you.